Getting very vocal here now in the ball. That's like the start of a football Ladies and gentlemen, quiet please. Quiet please. Well, we said he's got a lot of supporters First here. Set. Uh, Michael set. So, the start of what I think will be a difficult encounter Flat. for John McEnroe. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Oh, nice little fake play here by Pernfels. Looks like he went right, then went back. Out guessed McEnroe and came up with the pass. Thirteen fifteen. Thirty all. Missed by quite some margin. McEnroe need to serve well today. It's part of his game that's probably not quite as good as when he was in peak form, winning those Wimbledon's and the US Championships. Thirteen, fourteen. Mm. He can't believe it either. Well, it's given the opportunity, right? This opening game for Pern Force. Well, he looks a little bemused by it, how he started off serving here, rather wild. McEnroe. I think the difference in his serve between now and three or four years ago is he's a little bit more inconsistent with his ball toss. He's still got the same service action, but that ball toss not quite as uh, accurate as it used to be. 
safety, for instance. That one was a low toss. Yes. Three double faults in one game. Well, it's going to the chair. Is he going to change rackets? A fair bet. Right, so he's gone for a third racket there that he... His tension, string tension, is not very high. It's usually less than 50 pounds, which is fairly low. Service action. McEnroe with his back to the net. Good knee bend and then extending up to the ball and forward. Advantage McEnroe. I don't know if Pern Falls is going to get a better opportunity than this where McEnroe serves. Three doubles in a game. Many centimetres out as we have again look at the unusual service action of John McEnroe. He does lean into the court beautifully and the serve naturally carries him forward for the volley. So despite three double yeah, points, McEnroe holds serve one right. Time. McEnroe returning to the court. Here comes Michael Pernforce. Had a golden opportunity there in the opening game. Three double faults from McEnroe. Break point down. Quiet, please. Pernforce to serve. Love 50. Love 30. Well, a fairly uh, nervous start here from Pern Force. Not able to capitalise last game and then a couple of errors here. <laughs> he just can never believe it when he hits a lose with a bad shot. Well, he set the point up as he wanted it. He played a nice little spin drop shot and then had a good opportunity on the pass. But he's a perfectionist. That's why he can't accept uh, errors that he makes. 15-30. Yes, also why he has such great difficulty accepting the mistakes that other people make. Yes, exactly. Ah. 
Dan McEnroe. Mm. Well, the table's turned very quickly from break point down himself. McEnroe breaks through the lead to love. McEnroe leads two games to love. Well, he was given a little bit of assistance in that game from uh, Michael Pernfors. A couple of just straightforward errors to start the game. McEnroe just checking the sun, being a left hander now. The sun would be a little bit of a bother. You can see him there checking it in position in relation to his ball toss. Oh, he's walking Is that what's chair. coming through? Is it the wind on the mic that's bothering? Okay, I'll keep it turned off. Just turn the pinpoint. Huh. Well, there's no wind to speak of. It must have been just Jerry Armstrong breathing. Well, across the uh, the windsock on the microphone. He's <laughs> a very particular man. Fifteen love. Well, John Alexander's courtside. We might be able to get a uh, comment from him at this next change of ends. Fifteen all. I hope he whispers very quietly. I think 15 13 well the best point played by Pern for so far he looked out of it you'll see here lovely off forehand hit with a lot of top spin to make it just dip Second service. Thirty-all. Fit man, Pernforce. All he'll need to be is McEnroe. Just comes underneath the ball, play lovely little drop shot. Pernforce scrambles it up. Just long. McEnroe likes to play those short balls, either drop shots or angle volleys against the baseliners because they do stand a fair way back. Forty. Thirty. Seats behind, please. Thank you. Doesn't seem too breezy down there on centre court to me, John Alexander. Yes, well, it was McEnroe who started off so shakily in the first game. Three doubles faults. Home four is yet to strike a blow, but he looks very composed. Ah! 
15 months. Fifteen or watch from the reverse angle. Burn force plays a little chip across court. McEnroe quickly onto it. And look at the wrist, he just hooks that ball. Such a sharply angled shot. Shot of a very skilled player. Fifteen thirty. McEnroe given a bit of his own medicine there. Attacking the net and punching away a volley against him. Interesting thing though that these two players have never met in tournament play. So for the first few games they're just too sure what to expect. 30-40. McEnroe leads, four games to love. The economy of movement on McEnroe's part is something that always amazes me. Well, absolutely spot on. In that rally, he rallied from inside the baseline and just took the ball early. He doesn't want to stand well back and trade heavy ground strokes, just top spin to top spin shot with Pern Force. Takes the ball early and then at the first opportunity, he attacks the net. And once he's there, those magic volleys of his. So, great start for him. Fifteen. One of the few net cords that's actually gone over. We've seen with this very tight net here at Flinders Park. Usually when the ball cannons into the tape, it bounces high but stays back. Fifteen on. And from the reverse angle, lovely wide serve. McEnroe following it in. Two good serves after the net cord against him in the opening point. Thirty-fifteen. 
30 all. Well, this time the Swede picking up the serve. We return it, set up the opportunity. So showing McEnroe that he can hit both ways with that forehand. He's already hit one great off forehand pass. Now back the other way. Thirty forty. <laughs> so door opens up for uh, Burn Force to get one break back after the double fault, the fourth for McEnroe. Oh. <laughs> Giving the linesman there the evil eye. Well, I think it's probably worth a look. John McEnroe on this occasion. Just uh, long, I thought. Well called long. Oh, it's a brilliant touch. That was a oh. tough looking shot. Let's go to John Alexander. Not only that the first serve long. long, but the second serve was also long. Pernfor is looking to try to find the mark. Definitely a double fault, but called in. Mm. Jerry Armstrong just checking with the linesman and nodding in agreement. Wow, a little bit of good fortune then there for John McEnroe, but certainly he played a wonderful touch half volley drop shot. Advantage McEnroe. John Alexander, we should point out our, our courtside position is right on that service line. He's in a prime position to see. Okay, McEnroe. And he held serve. Five love. This is a surprise. Seats behind, please. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of movement around the centre court. Umpire Jerry Armstrong just asking people to uh, take their places quickly. The appeals are almost constant on every changeover. Huge crowds for this first uh, half, first seven days of the 1990 Australian Open. Love 15. Well, this is not the Michael Pernforce we expected to see. No, well, he's had a couple of opportunities, though. The score, I think, could have been a bit closer than uh, five love down. He's had game points on two McEnroe serves. <laughs> 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all.
13.40. Well, he's really got to do something about his serve, Mike Pernfors. To this game, presents set point to McEnroe. Net. First service. First service. It's not the major part of his game, but it's usually a little bit more reliable than this. Deuce. Well, the call was very late coming, but it was out, actually. Yes, McEnroe accepting that. I think he's just irritated that it was a late call. He knows the ball was out. Out. Advantage, Penforce. McEnroe leads five games to one. Those two players have both won the uh, American Collegiate Championships. Michael Pernfors won it two years running, 84 85, whilst he was attending the University of Georgia. John McEnroe went to Stanford University just long enough to win the championship. That was in 1978. 15 love. It's the exception to John Alexander's rule about all the players talking to themselves in English. <laughs> Fifteen Thirty fifteen. McEnroe mixing up the uh, length of his shots very nicely here. A few angle shots and some deep ones. Players with heavy topspin forehands and two-handed backhands don't like to be brought forward to hit low balls because of the grips that they use. Forty fifteen. That's set point now for McEnroe, this time on his own service. It's in the reverse angle, not moving his feet, Pern Fours, but certainly timed the ball well.
third set point now for McEnroe. Six games to one. Six games to one in just 37 minutes. Seats Burnford. quickly, please. Time. Burnford is very angry at losing the first set so quickly. Above all, he would have wanted to make John McEnroe work hard for it. It's hot here on the centre court, and Burnford is normally somebody who is very physically draining. Second to play set. Burnford to serve. Quiet, please. Right. Burnford with a big job to do. New balls have been taken. First set went against him very quickly. Fifteen love. Love. It's very close. A lot of top spin, the ball dipping. Well, very, very close, but observers at court side are of the opinion that it was out, John Alexander included. Second service. Good making well, well inside the baseline to take the second serve. <laughs> he got himself into trouble. Didn't hit the ball deep enough from that inside the baseline position. Forty low. is now. Well, there's a guy in the crowd behind McEnroe who's fanning himself with his hat. Oh, I see, yeah, behind Fernforts. Yeah. About three rows back. Will the gentleman at the end, please refrain from waving the hat as distracting the players. Thank you. Yeah, that's a pretty fair request, actually. He's only sitting about three, four rows back. Right in... McEnroe's line of sight. I wonder he hasn't got the hat on. <laughs> Forty fifteen. Game point for us. Holding serve in the opening game for the second set. One love for us. Time. Packed here at uh, Centre Court, the National Tennis Centre for this one between McEnroe, who's been the real entertainer so far this week, this first week of the Ford Australian Open Championship. And he certainly carried on with that superb touch through the first set. The signs are there that the Pern Force is going to fight his way back into the match. Fifteen love. Fifteen, 
13 off. That's the first ace for McEnroe. Beautiful left-handed serve, though. Let's have a look at the action here. Slow, deliberate takeaway, stretches up. And the placement there was uh, spot on. the first set a couple 30, of times 50. with the drop shot but you'll see here on the reverse angle uh, it's a little bit higher and Pern falls is onto it early and then with the disguise on the two-handed shot just waited till McEnroe committed and he hit the other way Next. First, first service, service. Point here from uh, Pernfors on the reverse angle. McEnroe not doing enough with the volley. You see Pernfors only had to take one step. And he had plenty of time. from uh, back on the baseline. And from roof cam, you'll see Pernfall sets it up with the return at McEnroe's feet in position quickly. And then, as you said, Gary could have gone either way with that, but his ground strokes are starting to uh, find their mark. Timing's coming. And I think we're in for a much tighter match now than that first set would indicate. Angry with that. Beautiful second serve that just took him a metre or so out of position, and then McEnroe with that opening. Didn't need any more. Advantage McEnroe. See, he's really irritated with that. He's very keen to do well against McEnroe here. Game McEnroe. One game more. Third time that uh, Burn Force has had break point or break back point on McEnroe and not been able to achieve it. It's a 
until he's held his last two service games. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed, McEnroe taking that ball so early. Love 15. Let's see on roof cam. Turn four's coming in, quite a good approach shot. McEnroe took it early. Fifteen over. Fifteen thirty. that he missed that shot. It was on full stretch, but usually we expect McEnroe to make those sort of volleys. He'd set up the point. Everything was to his liking. Fault. Fault. Oh. Thirty-forty. Short second serve. No way McEnroe wasn't going to chip that and come to the net. Thirty all point. Break point now. Out. Deuce. Advantage McEnroe. Again, McEnroe seizing the opportunity to attack. In the economy of uh, stroke production, short backswing, meeting the ball early. this deep and Penfall's dive. Jeez. Takes it on the full. That's just about the shot of the tournament. What a way to save break point. Almost broke himself. <laughs> Advantage Pernforce. That sort of inspirational shot. Really should lift Michael Pernforce. He's missed that Dan one. Pernforce holds serve. Two games to one, second set. I think McEnroe was just a little shaken, really, because he played the point perfectly, outmaneuvered Pernfors, and was figuring the break of serve was his. Just overplayed. Quiet, please. Stroke and then missed a fairly straightforward volley on the game point. Quiet, please. Thank you. So psychologically, that was a huge point for Pernfors.
Love 15. Serve still. Continue to present problems for McEnroe. Just fifth double. Close. 15 all. And for us not in total agreement with the call of good. Let's see if we can pick it up on the reverse angle. There it is. Yeah, oh, it actually looked good there. Fifteen thirty. McEnroe thinking through the air that that ball was going to go long. Turn four gets a tremendous amount of topspin on the ball, though. As you'll see here, with the wrist and the ball actually just dips at the last moment. Turn from turn force. 30 all. McEnroe well ahead there, as I think we would expect. Forty, thirty. Okay, McEnroe. Second ace. McEnroe holds two games, all. games going with service here at two all. In the second set after McEnroe really rolled through the first 6 1, although uh, it wasn't quite as clear cut as it looked on the scoreboard. McEnroe finished that last game very strongly. Opened with a double, but three excellent first serves to finish it off. <laughs> well, unusual shot for the two-handed stroke there, as we see on roof cam. Usually when the double-handed player gets the shot up shoulder height, he really crunches it. Turn four is cleverly drop shot in that time. Fifteen all. Very little backswing on those backhands from McEnroe. Almost just bunting the ball cross court and then down the line. You can see Michael Fernfors uh, fairly well ahead in that stat. And then when McEnroe wants to generate a bit more pace, opens the shoulders, hits through the shot. Fifteen thirty. So a beautiful shot coming up here on the reverse angle. McEnroe, good shoulder turn and hitting right through. Oh, he could have hit it. 
Landed well in. Mm. Made a late decision there to withdraw. 30 all. Attacks the second serve, comes in, gets the racket back, now withdraws it. Again, I think that little bit extra topspin that Pern calls in parts on the ball has just confused him a couple of times. 30-40. Well, McEnroe had a uh, couple of break points on Pern Four's previous service game. And Pern Four saved one of them with that uh, tremendous dive volley. Game McEnroe. But he's lost this one on a double fault. McEnroe moves ahead by three games to two seconds set. And so far in this match, Time. it's probably been a case of lost opportunities for Michael Pernfors. Previous McEnroe game, he did have 15.30, and the point that McEnroe had won had been a disputed call. It looked wide from here, but he just can't win a vital point. And McEnroe's just really had the run of the race so far, but it sure does uh, give the impression that anything could still happen. It's very, very hot down here in Centre Court. Quiet, please. Oh, let's see. Thank you. Let's see how McEnroe takes the heat. Burn Force hasn't quite been able to apply it yet. Fifteen love. Fifteen well, I thought McEnroe was getting his serve back into gear after double folding to open. His previous service came. He came from 15.30 with three excellent serves. And a good serve to start this game, but then surprisingly back with another double fault. Fifteen forty. A sensational return here from Pern Fors. He's pulled out of court, but he still gets the ball early. And again, he's got uh, McEnroe in trouble. Surely this time he'll be able to get a break. Pern Fors breaking back to three all second set. Three games all. Not really a surprise that because he's had a lot of opportunities on the McEnroe serve. And with a player of his uh, class, if the ground strokes particularly, couldn't hold him out forever. So three all. Oh. 15 long.
15 all. It's awfully low, isn't it, for John McEnroe? Help! 30-15. Obviously better than Pern Force when the first serve goes in because of his uh, more damaging serve. Help! Forty fifty. Forty thirty. McEnroe putting a lot of slice on that backhand to make it uh, keep low. Game Pern Force. So Pern Force in front for the first time anywhere in this match leads by four games to three in the second set, having dropped the first. McEnroe very angry at losing the advantage. Time. His bag on the change of ends. He stared around and you can tell that he needs, he thinks he needs to wrap this up in three straight sets. He's feeling the heat. He is 30 years of age. Home four seems to be travelling very smoothly right now. Quiet, please. Thank you. John Alexander there at uh, courtside. Close up to the action. Fifteen love. shot from McEnroe. 15 all. You see in the reverse angle another net cord that goes over. Turn forces up to it and McEnroe scooping at that volley. Which he does often but uh, usually with great control. That time with no control. Fifteen thirty. An important couple of points coming up for McEnroe. He's had the break, lost it against an improving opponent. Just trying to press a little bit too quickly there in the rally. Thirty
can see that fly on the screen is bothering <laughs> McEnroe. Long way, isn't he, on some of these first serves? Thirty forty. Fours, knowing he's got an opportunity here. He's eager. McEnroe walking well back from the baseline, refusing to move back there. Still half volleying some of those shots. Fairly risky. Turnforce leads five games to three. Mm. Well, that's twice Macken has really thumped the ball in anger, which probably should have necessitated a uh, ball abuse warning. Quiet, please. Thank you. Armstrong has given him the benefit of the doubt. And Pernfors now stepping up to serve for the second set. Love 15. Love 30. So that's how you finish off an easy volley. You don't wait for the ball. Just really quickly accelerate to the net. Angle it away. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. It's a lovely shot, that one of McEnroe, where he takes the ball early and fades it into the corner as it bounces. It moves further away from his opponent. Turn four serving for the set, but having trouble. Seem to be a bit over eager, McEnroe, to put that uh, ball away. Watch it again on the replay. He's got Pernfors on the run with that shot there. Just in a hurry to get it back down the line. He likes those half volley shots, he usually makes them. He's got oh, the break back there, yeah, McEnroe. Ball change, please. New balls. New balls, boys. New balls. John Alexander, what do you reckon about uh, McEnroe's physical condition? Yes, well, the feeling is, talking about it here with John Barrett, that John really needs to be winning in three straight sets or possibly had he lost that last game, conserved his energy and tried for a four-set win. It is very hot here on the centre court. Pernfors doesn't have a good 
reputation over five set matches. But if anything beats McEnroe, it'll be a combination of Michael Pernfors and the Heat. Yes, I have. I have. They brought. Some you should have bought another hat for uh, John Barrett. I don't know John Alexander, he, uh, he's going to get burnt down there. Now, what's the debate here? Let's get some balls and bounce. These balls are dead. Every one of these balls we played with. We had hard balls the first week. I mean, well, it's totally different. I'll try one more can. I mean, we played the whole week with one set, now this balls are different. Well, the players were both unhappy with the balls prior to the start of the match. And they were changed. And uh, McEnroe contending that they are still not right. And maybe uh, he's right. I mean, maybe that explains why, in his opinion, obviously, the balls aren't coming onto his racket the way he's uh, learned to expect in his first three matches in this tournament. Well, he's entitled to uh, request the balls to be checked. Can I have those two in, please? Those two in, in here. So I think we're going to have an inspection of all the new balls in the box at this point. All three there. Burnt force, meantime, is at the back of the court. Just pacing up and down. Consider his position. It's hard for him, Gary, yeah. isn't it? because he's ahead 5 4. So now we've got a delay through no none of his course. Very hard for him to keep his concentration here. He was doing all right whether the balls were of the right compression <laughs> yeah. or not. John Alexander, got any comment? Well, this is a, a tactic that John McEnroe has used throughout his career. It's a method of psychologically dictating the conditions of play. He is now ready and he is going to play, and therefore now Michael has to play. Let's see if it's had any effect on Michael's concentration. Fifteen love. Well, McEnroe, that was just clearly a bad toss there that caused him to uh, serve that ball wide into the tape. Fifteen all. You'll see here on the reverse angle, he just volleys that pretty much down the centre. Now Pernfors is not going to miss too many of those in a match. Fifteen thirty. As we see it on the reverse angle, Pernfors doesn't come into the net a lot, but when he does on this occasion, he shows surprising racket skills. That is the volley of an expert net player. Well, he was running wide out of court. The ball from McEnroe landed right on the line, and he's hooked. 
stopped it back. Right past Nakano's nose. 15-40. Oh, it's certainly worth another look. This Pern force. You think he'd hit down the line, but just hooks it back cross court. Lovely use of the wrist there to get the necessary spin. Set points, two of them. Six games to four, one set all. Forehand pass, that lovely drop volley, and the magnificent running pass on the forehand to set up set point, and then another volley winner to give him the set. So four Third set, point winners. to serve. Five breaks of serve in that set. <laughs> Fifteen love. As John Alexander said, perhaps a test of the McEnroe fitness. He's had easy matches up until this point, so he shouldn't be tired at the start of this match anyway. Yeah, just got himself a bit far away from the ball there. Some of those uh, 30, shots with venom, isn't he, Michael Pernforce? Well, his confidence is really growing, and you can see the first service percentage pretty good for Pernforce, although he's only really spinning a lot of them in and very, very low for McEnroe. Still at still at 38. Himself. 30 all. Yes, he did, but he was the aggressor in the point, as we see the percentage of points one when the first serve's gone in. McEnroe's just dropping a little as those turn fours ground strokes start to find their mark. Thirty forty. Standing well wide. Okay, no, just holding him up till the ball boy uh, gets back to his position. Deuce. <laughs> the ball boy soon got out of the way he there, didn't he? He <laughs> chased that ball like he was going to throttle it, McEnroe. <laughs> Fast as that lad's moved all day. Cost him a break point. Ball of use, Ronnie. Got him. Well, got to be one of these times. Yeah. Advantage, Penfolds. No. Quiet, please. 
Thank you. Nagano walks away. Somebody will be making a comment to him, obviously, which is unnecessary. Fifth yes. double foot, fourth brother for uh, Michael Pernforce. Pernforce uh, feeling the pressure of the situation. He knows he's got his man uh, wounded here at a set all and feeling the heat. Advantage McEnroe. Again, standing well wide to stir serve. And I noticed that, that the tournament referee Peter Bellinger came to uh, the side of the umpire's chair with another batch of new balls. Seats behind, please. Well, I guess he just replaced all the other balls, new balls in the box, and brought out a totally new batch. Quiet, please. Well, that was a Players already. Thank you. Great serve there for John McEnroe because Pernfors was definitely getting to him. Brilliant game to win the second set. Advantage back now with McEnroe. Love 15. Tells me that he might have a bit of difficulty hanging on to the advantage. Well, if I had to say what was the main difference between his play now and four years ago, I would say the serve. He doesn't serve like he used to. And maybe his movement at the net is not quite as good. 15 on. As far as his temperament goes, I'm, that has improved quite markedly. Unbelievably, yes. yes. True, maybe he needs to go Troppo to play his best. <laughs> Fifteen thirty. Seven double force for McEnroe. An unusually high number for him. Well, he was questioned, uh, I think, in Adelaide. Might have been Perth about his serve. So quite a few doubles in a match. And he said, well, I've never been known for having a big serve anyway, which I think was just a little bit of reverse psych because he was winning Wimbledon there. He used to serve magnificently. Yes, perfect touch. <laughs> 30 all. Yes, in his heyday there at Wimbledon, I mean, uh, he could get the ball going away so far almost pull his opponent out into Church Road. Oh. 30, 40. Mm. Well, Could Alexander had, had a clear sight on that ball. Did Gary, and the ball was definitely long. Okay. I think John is more looking for a rest at this moment before a very vital point now. It's break Could point. Could have gone either way. 
to turn fours. And he's going to play on. Here comes the volley. Certainly uh, on the reverse angle. Gee, I don't know on that angle, but Terry Armstrong said it was too close. He couldn't possibly overrule. We'd certainly agree with that. Game Penfolds. One game over. Well, McEnroe, if he loses this match, will look back and say that he's had some chances because he led 3 2 in serving in the second set. An early break of serve here in the third set. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Very vital set, this one, uh, Gary, particularly for McEnroe. Absolutely. Two sets to one down, he'd really uh, find it difficult, I think. So for him, it's a must-win set. Net. First service. Fifteen thirty. McEnroe glaring at that same section of the crowd where somebody made a comment earlier, but a uh, beautiful point he played there. He really took the ball early on every ground stroke. Fifteen forty. Thirty forty. Just a superb topspin lob to take the point away from him. Violation, unsportsmanlike conduct, warning Mr. McEnroe. Well, that's fair. You have to get into something. And that was uh, very intimidating. I looked at that as blatant intimidation. 
Yeah. Sorry, I'm not going to go that. That's blatant intimidation. That's not a question I can ask. You heard Jerry Armstrong's initial comment there quite clearly. He Let's play. Love 15. Okay, I was about to say before he did uh, intimidate that baseline umpire there that the reason we've seen six service breaks in a row is that he's serving well below his best. And on Pernfels, the serve Pernfels is just spinning the serve in and allowing McEnroe to attack him. So at this particular point, it's probably easier to break serve than to hold it. Next. First service. Really yes. And I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure why he's so hot under the collar about the, the girl on that line, the well, baseline. See the serve there, it did appear to be just long. And this is the thing that John McEnroe forgets, I think, in his matches. Uh, he gets a few good calls his way sometimes. Exactly. exactly. But I mean, how many bad calls has he had at the other end? There was one very close call. That's about it. Which he questioned, but uh, as we said, John Alexander is on that baseline, and uh, it was his opinion that the lines woman was correct. It was out. We have a small conflict of opinion between John Alexander and John Barrett about that warning on McEnroe. Oh, John and I would never be in conflict, but uh, <laughs> I felt that Jerry Armstrong uh, warned McEnroe. I didn't know what, how he could know what he said. Maybe he asked at the time or, or said, isn't it hot? That's true, of course, but uh, I think the thing of disrupting the flow of the play is probably partly responsible for the... Fifteen forty. From our viewpoint up here, Alan, and we're further away, I must admit, we see this uh, return in replay of the double backhand of Burnforce. I don't think McEnroe said anything. Yes, well, I don't know, but he, he certainly... Just stood and glared. Mm. was intimidatory behaviour, though, I certainly thought. was. So again, McEnroe in trouble. Thirty forty. Save one break point. Furious with himself. You see on the reverse angle the drop shot. Now Pernfors gets there easily. Elects to play a little touch lob. And misses by quite a few centimetres. Had a few options there. Country mile. 
Oh, I hope it's a fault. Advantage Penfolds. You know, taking a big circle around the baseline. 25 seconds. And from roof cam, you'll see the difficulties had to make ground quickly to his left. Be able to just angle it back there with touch and control on a break point. It's simply a magic shot. Yes. Advantage McEnroe. Close, but wide. Good return there to force McEnroe into going for that half volley. Huge game, this one. McEnroe struggling to just consolidate. Advantage Penfolds. Juice. See from the reverse angle, a nice slow takeaway. That McEnroe takes away the racket. A tough service game for him. Say so four game points. No! Yes, judge that again. Yes. <laughs> yep. Advantage McEnroe. leads three games to one. And survived four break points there as well. Well, that was a key game, though, because you just can't break clear of uh, Pern Fours. Had a break of serve in the second and looked to be really travelling smoothly. 6-1, 3-2 and serving. Couldn't put Pern Fours away there and then he had early breaks in the second set, only to be broken back. Quiet, please. Uh, now is finally that cushion of two games. 1-3. Love 15. Again, just 
the short backswing and not a long follow through. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Well, that's the uh, first really unforced error that uh, Penfold has made for a few games. McEnroe urging himself on. Keen for a double break here. And just slowing things down a little. Thirty forty. Well, we've said so often that this third set in a best of five set match is so vital. One set all. Often the player who wins it goes on and wins in four. Well, we're seeing some great tennis from uh, both players here in the reverse angle and supreme pressure there. Michael Pernfour standing firm. Oh. Yeah, just faded. Advantage Pernfour. You expect me to overrule something on that far side line? Well, the ball was clearly wide. The ball was wide. It was back on the line, as John said. He struck it beautifully, but from the moment he hit it, it faded, faded, faded. Watch this. And it Ooh. faded wide of the line. Frustrated uh, because he hit the ball well. It was a big point. And the fact that the ball just missed, which he Quiet, will, not, will not accept. Ladies and gentlemen, quiet, please. point <laughs> advantage point for us What a quality shot. Deuce. It's an indication of how tight this net is uh, here, Gary. Very rare do you see a net cord hit the top of the net and bounce over. long. Oh. Seen it two or three times this week. Advantage Penfolds. Oh. 
game penalties. John McNamara terribly angry on the change of games. It might be construed. Oh, the officials get intimidated to give me calls after doing that to him, right? I thought that what kind of mentality do you think that the officials going to give me calls after I do that? And there's more of that on the change of games. He's frustrated. At not having broken surf, he expended a great deal of physical and mental energy in the attempt. He was frustrated by great tennis by Michael Pernfors. He still holds Quiet, please. Play. Players are ready. Thank you. Right. <laughs> he's close to uh, going over the edge, I think, McEnroe. He's about set to explode. So he's ahead 3 2. Go! You can always tell when there's about to be a spectacular McEnroe eruption because the courtside photographers have miraculously appeared from nowhere. Fifteen love. And every one of those uh, huge convex glass eyes is pointed straight at uh, not Michael Pernforce, at John McEnroe. Thirty love. No luck there for Pern Fords, but it was a good dive from McEnroe to save the volley on the first return. Forty love. It's just the sort of service game McEnroe needs, an, an easy one. Really had to battle a lot of juice games and tough points. And if he could get away with a love game here, it would be a real bonus. Somebody sneezed. Forty fifteen. Well, theatrics aside, we're seeing uh, some high standard play here, Alan. Yes, it's a very, very exciting match. The ground strokes of Pern Fours. Forty thirty. Look at this, you think McEnroe's got the point absolutely sewn up. And the ball taken so early. Super shot. So he's not going to get the easy service game that he'd hoped for at 40 love. Oh, and that's part of the reason he's still struggling at only 45% of first serves in. Deuce. And up goes the champ from the 
Swedish contingent. here at the National Tennis Centre. There's barely an empty seat at the centre court. <laughs> Advantage Penfolds. The great fighting tennis from Penfolds in this game with some great shots to save the game and now there's an opportunity to take it. Juice. was too much depth. Well, I thought the ball was good. Yes, it was. So was that. So was that one. His fourth ace for the match. Advantage McElroy. He needed it too. McEnroe leads four games to two. Well, high class net play there by McEnroe to finish off the game. He looked to be passed with the cross court shot and then read that forehand pass so well to finish off the game. Two four. Fifteen love. Turn four is just ahead. Thirty love. And one of his better first serves. Most of the match he's just been content to spin the serve in. Another good serve. 40 love. Tennis of McEnroe. So it's McEnroe, one set all, 4 3 he leads. Fifteen love.
15 all. Well, he's got that ability to catch McEnroe with the, uh, not the obvious one, the obvious one down the line. McEnroe heading that way, so he's come up with some great ones with the harder of the two options. 16 forehand winners to McEnroe's four. Fifteen thirty. That's his eighth double four. Just forty six percent of first servers in for McEnroe. Has improved a little in the last uh, set or so. Fifteen forty. Like points for Pam Fours. Change please, new balls. Four games on. Tennis Australia. Hope you're enjoying today's play on Seven Summer of Tennis. An amazing miss. He did have to look into the sun a little, but it was still for uh, someone of his quality overhead. I guess he was a little shaky though after those two doubles. It's all square at four all. Love 15. Continuing to attack. A highly dramatic match. Fifteen all. It's Tatum, McEnroe's wife, Sergio Palmieri, his manager. Sergio's getting a good tan anyway. Probably a few wrinkles, I think, though. Fifteen thirty.
30 all. Solid volley, not trying to do too much with it. So set all, four all, 30 all. 40, 30. Game, Pern Force. Pern Force ahead. Third set. Five games to four. Back on the lead, the set, and 3-2. Uh, he was up 4-2 in this third set. So he's had plenty of chances in the match, but uh, just cannot deny this tough Swede. His passing shots have been uh, spot on. This will not be denied now. Huge game here for McEnroe. Struggled on serve. 15 love. Love. Flies apparently are bothering John McEnroe. He's asked uh, the ball boys if they get him some fly spray, but uh, referred to ball boys collectively at the same time. Very unsavoury terms. So I don't know whether they'll be too obliging. Love. McEnroe insisting still that there's something wrong with these balls, that they lack compression. Okay, McEnroe. There was number five. Five games all. Well, Pernfield's not too convinced of the call. But it will stand. The game has been called, five all. And a very easy service game that time for McEnroe. Let's see if it did land on the line. Absolutely. Oh, looked like it. Five all. Ah. Love fifteen. So can Carl Pern Fours keep up this high level of passing shots? Keep McEnroe back, or will the McEnroe volley and net attack win out? Love 13. And I'm swinging towards the net player. Out. 15, 30.
1540. Well, indicating the ball was good, but uh, the vision possibly obscured by Pernfors. Well, that was the shot there. McEnroe continuing with play and forces the error. They give up to great point, and you could hear Pernfors uh, voices discussed there. It is creeping up, uh, Alan. Yes, it was at 38% uh, for the first couple of sets. Oh. 15 love. Serving here for the third set. Got the first serve in that time. Love. Beautiful second serve there from McEnroe, really cutting wide, taking Pernfield out of court. The drop shot, Pernfield really did well to pick it up. There's the serve that takes him out of court. But unlucky, he didn't turn it into a winner. Thirty fifteen. stage of the match. Forty-fifty. Set points for John McEnroe. Tournament's number four seed. A real battle on his hand, though, against unseeded Michael Pernfors. The match, I'm sure, he realised would be tough. Forty thirty. We saw him lose a service game earlier from forty love up. Game. 
third set, McEnroe. Seven games to five. McEnroe leads two sets to one. Please keep your seats. One more game, not a changeover. The pressure's still on, though, Alan Stone, because if he's going to win the match, he needs to win it in four sets. Fourth set, Ben first to serve. But uh, towards the end of that set, though, he kept his uh, cool, kept his net attack going. 15 love. Forced penalties uh, into missing a few passing shots. So McEnroe rewarded for being the aggressor. Thirty loves. Thirty fifteen. Play McEnroe, late move into the net, just lunging for that, perfect control. Forty fifty. Same tactic, beaten by a good two hander there from Pern Force. Quiet, please. Okay, but a uh, bit of a wrap these rack. Fifteen love. First service. Net. First service. Fifteen all. Burnt force again reading the serve. That's well back, moves forward, got his whole momentum and body weight moving forward so that he can return the ball quickly. And he had the angle exactly right. You'll notice he does stand a long way back and moves in a couple of steps as McEnroe serves so that he's got his weight moving into the return. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Turn four is yet to serve one, but of course he's not really going for his first serve. He's content to just mainly spin it in. Gonna serve any aces that way. Second service. Thirty 
30, 40. On his 10th double four. And a break point for Michael Planforce. Ten to five. Way too many for McEnroe. Really hurt Pern Fours too much. Deuce. Yeah. Good swinging serve. Pern Fours got a good crack at it, but uh, couldn't quite control it like he did earlier in the game. Advantage McEnroe. Good call. Gay McEnroe. One game more. Fought off a break point. The person has moved from centre court here at the National Tennis Centre. All but a capacity crowd today. Fifteen love. That's what he meant to do, but it's still missed. We must have uh, plenty of energy left on McEnroe to expend a little bit on uh, unnecessary shots like that. Thirty love. See on the replay here. Here comes the drop shot. Now Pernfors moves in now so that he can volley this one, which means he can get it back cross court and allow McEnroe time to recover. Oh. Time violation. Warning, Mr. McEnroe. Right. Let's play. Let's go to John Alexander. John McEnroe wanted some order in the match. There were several people called him out him out abusively. And Jerry Armstrong responded by giving him a time warning. To be able to just angle his wrist and push it back behind Pernfors was just a wonderful shot. Watch him come in here. 
This is the shot. Very cleverly done. Correction, the ball's good. First service. Forty Quiet, please. John McEnroe wouldn't agree, but I think Jimmy Armstrong seems to be doing a pretty fair job of controlling this match. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Forty love. Wide serve to the corner. So a little hop in the air there from Pernfels, hoping that that might uh, just go long. Game, okay, McEnroe. The two games all. Easy service game there for McEnroe. Fifteen love. Thirty Forty love. 
Rangers end. This is what it looked like. And just a matter of time before uh, Panthers could put him away there. Out. Game Panthers. Ball change, please. And two very quick games there. It's Panthers. Well, listen to the chance. Quiet, please. Both players have had uh, bluff games on serve. New balls have been taken. Let's hope uh, they've got a bit of bounce in them. Love 15. The perfect topspin. Love McEnroe knows he's got to try to smash this on the full as he tries valiantly. Knowing once it got over his head, he had no chance to run it down. The elevation was just perfect as well as the topspin. Fifteen all. Thought he had it. Fifteen thirty. A danger spot in the match now for McEnroe. Fifteen forty. So from Ruth came an excellent serve, well got back, and then on full stretch, hooking forehand across court, plenty of topspin, ball dipping past the outstretched racket of McEnroe. Two break points for Pernfors. Thirty forty. Well, a quality forehand there from McEnroe under pressure. 
hammering that ball into the corner. If you have an opportunity to, re to go outside, could you do so, please? Thank you. I think that's uh, an infant uh, the lady with the baby uh, crying in the crowd up in this northern end here behind McEnroe. Ah, right, there's movement at the uh, station. The lady's face has gone several shades of Thank red. you. Violation, racket abuse, point right. penalty, Mr. Point McEnroe. Point. Yes. Game point for us. Makes it game. That's a great concern. Code violation, verbal abuse, default, Mr. McEnroe. Whoa! Game set, match, Pernfels. That's the end of the 